Ooh, this is so delicious. Pasta a la bolognese. Oh, I can't wait to try it right now. Benvenuti ragazzi, Daniela here and welcome to my keto cooking channel where I bring you the best keto recipes for you to enjoy on a daily basis. And today it's international weekends and I'm gonna be bringing you a dish from Italy, one of our favorites, ragù alla bolognese. And I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy, simplified version of how to do this recipe keto style. And for the first time trying a new product, a pasta substitute made with a heart of palm, which I used to have when I was little, so I'm really excited to try this for the first time. But first, an intro from one of my best taste testers. Buongiorno e benvenuti tutti italiani a questo canal Keto Cooking Channel. Oggi siamo con la Daniela e andiamo a fare uno dei piatti più deliziosi di questo mondo, ragù alla bolognese. Andiamo! Allora, prima di cominciare, non dimenticare piacere e sottoscrivere a questo canale in modo che possiamo continuare a offrire ricette più deliziose di questo mondo di Keto. Allora, andiamo! Allora, avete bisogno di half a pound of ground beef, the whole package of the palmini, hearts of palm linguini, three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of grated parmesan cheese, half a tablespoon of dry oregano, one teaspoon of powdered garlic, and one large tomato, this one is nine and a half ounces. Andiamo ragazzi! So I have to admit that I'm actually really really excited about this product. I just learned about it a few days ago. My sister told me about it and I was like, what is this? So I had to buy it. I got it, you know, in Amazon two-day shipping and I've been really excited. So, and something that I didn't know before I bought it was that it's made in Ecuador, believe it or not. As a, uh, I used to eat a heart of palms when I was little, like in salads and things like that and uh, now they came out with this new product who knows if it's gonna taste good probably doesn't i don't know because you know when you buy pasta substitutes they're weird um i usually you just use zucchini if i want to do like a pasta esque sort of thing but if they are saying it and i and i read a few reviews and people like it i don't know let's see it says here that it is a harvested in an environmentally sustainable way hopefully it is so that it's all really cool and it only has for the ingredients sliced hearts of palm water natural sea salt and citric acid which is awesome because i try to eat like whole foods i try to stay away from packaged products if i can so when i read a very like a short list of ingredients, that's when I know that it's the right product for me to try. So let's give it a try. I actually forgot to mention that in this whole package, which supposedly is three servings, it's not three, I would say it's like one or two max, um, in the whole package there are six net carbs, which is amazing, 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 which is another reason that I bought it right away. But I just drained it and I pass it under the cold water for some time and this is what it looks like it does look like pasta actually like linguine but I'm gonna try it right now for the first time I, you, I know when we used to eat um, hearts of palm you could just eat it out of the can so I'm gonna try it it tastes like heart of palm and uh, to me, it's actually a little bit too al dente, or maybe if I just heat it up in the in the in the sauce, it would be enough. You know what? I'm just gonna heat it up on the sauce, let it boil with the sauce for a little bit instead of boiling it and using two pots. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> this is the first time that I'm doing this with, with this product, so let's see how it goes. All right. So we're going to start. Uh, with the food processor, I'm putting the whole big tomato inside it. So we're just gonna cut it into smaller pieces and put it in there. Perfect. I'm gonna start by putting the heat on high 
all right so that's on high and I'm just gonna put all of the tomato I am adding the three tablespoons of olive oil I am adding all the garlic a little bit of salt and we're gonna let that reduce for a little bit I'm adding the dried oregano which actually came from my mom's garden she dried it and she gave it to me so it's gonna come out just even better I'm just gonna add the half a pound of ground beef I'm sure you guys heard us showing off our Italian skills when I was in college I lived and studied abroad in Rome for a few months and it was such an amazing time in my life and I ate a lot of pasta of course <laughs> My husband, he is, um, his great grandparents were from Italy, so he has that background and he's, he, he learned to speak Italian in school. We are going to let that simmer for a little bit, for it to all cook together. I'm gonna put it to the lowest possible flame. And I'll come back in two minutes to try it. So this has been simmering for two minutes. Now let's be honest. If we wanted this to come out tasting like a million bucks, we would let this simmer for a really long time and it would take a long time for it to be ready and everything. But you guys know me, I like to eat quickly. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend too long on, on, on a recipe, but you know, if it's during the weekend and you guys wanna you know, leisurely cook. Please let it simmer for the longest in low flame and it'll come out even better. Right now I'm gonna give it a taste trial to see uh, what it needs. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper. And perhaps, perhaps more oregano too. All right, so I've added the, I've added some more spices that I thought it needed, some salt, pepper, extra oregano, and now I'm gonna add uh, the hearts of palm and let them cook in the sauce for a little bit. So the hearts of palms don't need to be cooked; they they are ready to eat as they come out of the package, but you want them. You want to heat them up, of course, and if you want them softer, you have to cook them separately. Uh, but I didn't need them to be any softer. Um, well, yes, yes, but I hopefully they get a, a little bit softer um, just by heating up on, on with the sauce. So I'm gonna let this simmer for like another three minutes so that it, uh, it all combines. And late lunch is ready. Alright guys, so this is basically done. You can let it simmer for longer if you want it to be less juicy or not. I, this is the perfect juiciness to me. I'm gonna plate this and I'll tell you how to win, okay? Alright guys, check this out. I am really excited about trying this one. As I told you, this is the first time in years that I'm gonna be trying Hearts of Balm. I used to have it when I was a little, like, a little girl. Um, Add your one tablespoon of uh, Parmesan cheese, of course. You can never go wrong with Parmesan cheese. All right, let's try it. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to bring my husband here for him to give his review as well. But to me, 
this is a success guys it's a success I love the sauce of course I I do ragus all the time they, I usually would have that type of ragu on top of kale lettuce so, uh, whatever um, but not only do they actually look like pasta pasta but because they don't truly have a flavor like it absorbs all the sauce all the flavor of the sauce and it's really good plus it's the the consistency is al dente which is really hard to do when you're doing it with um, zucchini you know or squash because it always becomes a little bit too soft but this is just amazing and it's so convenient because it just comes out of the package like that I didn't even have to boil it for five minutes for a softer consistency I think that it did soften a little bit in the while I was uh, sauteing it with the sauce and that was enough for me and it doesn't taste it doesn't really have a, a strong taste like if you have one by itself a more like plant-based flavor more like more fiberish a little tougher but um, you know once you bite into it that's what gives you that sat like that satisfaction of like biting into it which you know sometimes you you you, you crave I'm liking it. It's, it's gonna be in the rotation. All right, Jay, so thanks for uh, coming over and trying it. This is gonna be his uh, first reaction. <laughs> if it's a bad reaction, he's gonna have a second reaction. Like uncensored, this. uncensored. First reaction is it smells great. I gotta be honest, it smells very, very good. Very twirlable. I respect that. <laughs> I, mean, I understand it's gonna be different from pasta. I just, you know, twirlable is good. That's a pretty annoying reaction. Wow, that's good. It's not pasta, but it gives you what you want out of the dish. Like, when I eat pasta, excuse me, I want, excuse me, the flavor of the sauce. I want the flavor of what's on top. It, it, it absorbs the flavor of whatever you've baked in it, right? So this for me is giving off serious meat, bolognese, tomato, cheese vibes. And the pasta, whatever this is, the palmino, is really just to support. It's really just there to kind of not get in the way and give you the taste of everything else. It's very good. I actually don't know what the palmito tastes like because I'm getting so much of the sauce. You know what I mean? I think that's good. To me, that's the mark of success. This won't taste like spaghetti, but it's not going to taste like it's not spaghetti, if that makes sense. Like, when I bite into spaghetti, I want to taste certain things in the sauce, and that's exactly what this gives me. So, I couldn't tell you what the heck this is, but it's really good. All right, you're eating all my you're eating all my meal. Oh, this is worse? Oh, crap. I'm sorry. Okay, last one. Isn't there another dish? Oh, it's a girl still from yours. Okay. All right. Well, I think we got it. Yeah, we're we're so piacere suscribere questo ha sido canal Keto Cooking Channel con la Diana. Andiamo a andiamo a mangiare. Oh. Wanna turn that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.